I got this call just a couple of days ago from a particular lady from my YouTube channel and this lady was like that she has customers from Cameroon, Ghana and they are trying to purchase her online training and Paystack is not accepting cards from Ghana and Cameroon. So, madam, in case if you're watching, I made you a promise that I'm going to make a video about this by Monday or Tuesday. And um, in this video, I am going to show you some settings that you have to do in Paystack so that Paystack will accept payments from most of the African countries and Europe and America, which is not 100% guaranteed. Okay, because I've had this kind of issues also in the past where some people are trying to pay for my online training and Paystack is not accepting cards from those countries. But this setting that I'm going to show you in this video is very, very important. And secondly, you told me that you would like to know how you can be able to get the online training in a secured way across to them in case if they make payments through other means since you've already uploaded it on Paystack and Paystack is not accepting payment. Now I'm going to show you all that, how you can get across your digital content, which is your video file or your software across to whoever that pays for your content, wherever the person is living. Okay, so we are going to jump right into my laptop now and I'm going to take you on a step-by-step -step journey on how you can do that little setting on Paystack and also how you can get across your digital content to whoever that pays your, for your digital content via the person's email and the person will download it. And for those of you that are watching that also wants to start creating content and be selling online or you have digital content and you still want to know another means that you can use to get it across to your customers wherever they live, this is a video for you. And this is one of the reasons why I always tell you guys to always ask me questions because it's by asking me questions that I'll come up with ideas on the next thing I will create that will tackle your problem, okay? So guys, please, I encourage you guys to please ask me questions if you're having any kind of issue in any particular thing related to whatever that I am teaching because from there I get more topics and the next thing I do is just to go to TubeBuddy or go to VidIQ and search a title on that particular topic and make a video about it. Now we are going to dive right into my system. Let me walk you guys through, especially you, the lady that called me on how you can set your pay stack to be able to accept cards from different countries and also how you can also send your digital content across to your customers, even if they pay via BTC or pay via pay stack or pay via other means pioneer, other means of payments. Now, a very quick one. I am going to first of all show you guys how you can do the setting of pay stack so that you can receive payment from different cards, okay? Very quick one. Then secondly, I'm going to show you how you can send files across to whoever that you want to sell your online training to or digital contact. So let's go over to Paystack. Now click on login. So we're right inside Paystack. Scroll down and go to setting. Down below here, click on setting. Once you go to setting, go to preference. So on this preference, the fourth currency is NGN, okay? Accept payment via bank, card, QR, USSD. Apple Pay if you want to be accepting payment via Apple Pay, all right? Bank transfer, pay attitude if you want pay, pay attitude. I can even check all this, okay? Let me leave this for now. Accept American Express cards. Once you click on it, you will be charged an on cap transaction fee of 4.5% for every successful American Express card payment. So you can activate it now. Send, transfer, receive, send to me, send to customer. Here, this is the most important one. Accept international payments. Please note, in the case of fraudulent transaction involving international payment, first I will receive the transaction and deduct the amount from your balance. So with this, you can accept international okay, transaction. So if in case if you're in your Paystack um, account, you've not checked this, make sure you check it. This is very, very important. That is the main thing that I want to show you guys in this video. Now let's move over. Let me show you guys how you can 
send your tutorial or any kind of digital content to whoever that buys your content. Now go to a Gmail account, go over here. Once you have a Gmail email, sign it in, in a browser and um, go over here, drive. If I want to send digital content to whoever that buys my content, especially if you pay me from BTC or any other means, Pioneer, you know, PayPal or whatever, Western Union dependent, this is how I send files to them. Now, once you get to this drive, here, come over here, file upload, select the file, whatever it is, and then um, upload it. Once you double click on the file, to start uploading here, you can see, I'm going to, it has already uploaded. Okay, I'm still going to delete this file. This is a picture, you can add video, you can add anything here, right? Now, once you have the files here, let me go to a, an email and um, let me open this email and um, copy this email. I want to send file to this email. Open Notepad. Let me paste it in Notepad first. Paste. Remove the beginning here. Now copy it from here again. Let's go back to here. Assuming I want to send this um, file. To so click on manage, put the file here. This is not meant to show on my phone. It shows very well. I don't know why it's not showing very well here. Let me refresh this page. Once you come over here and um, click on any of this, click on manage. All right. Now I've gotten it right. I refreshed this page and that's it. Now, paste this email. Okay, this is the same email. Let me copy the other email. Paste this one. Let's go over to that email so that you guys can see. Go to this email. You can see, refresh. You can see there's no email here. All right, so come over here. And device and components you need to start creating 360, blah, blah, blah. Paste here and click on send. Once you click on send, go over to that email and refresh this email. It's going to enter immediately. Okay, you can see this is the video file I sent to this email. So whoever you want to send this file to, collect the email of the person just like this, come over to Drive, paste it in that particular file or digital content that you want to share with the person and boom, send. The person is going to get it in his email and once that person gets it, just open and once the files open, just up here, just click download. Once you click this download, the file will start downloading immediately. It's very simple. Now, why I like this is even if I forward this file to another person, if it gets to that email, the next person cannot be able to download the file. So it's quite a very secured way for you to send files. So if you send it to Mr. A and Mr. A forwards it to another Mr. K or Mr. J or Mr. S, once it gets to that, the email of that Mr. S, Mr. S cannot download this file because he did not authorize Mr. S in your drive to download this file. So this way your file is secured, it only gets to the people or the person that you want to share it with. So that is it. And I hope you understand everything I taught in this um, video very well. If you have any question, you're free to drop your question in the comment section below this video. Now, I hope this video answers your question. And if you have any question at all, please feel free to drop your question in the comment section below this video. And if you're watching my video for the first time, my name is Ashley Kenna Kinsley. And on this channel, I give you tips and solutions on how to make money online and other relevant tips that helps in our daily online space. But during the weekend, I make sure I come up with updates on new games and app in the virtual reality space. So if you wouldn't want to miss any of my content, make sure you hit the subscription button and make sure you turn on the notification button so that you'll be the first to know once I upload a new video. I will see you guys in my next video like always. You guys should stay creative and remain blessed.